Good morning, everyone. Today's patch is the big one for me because I'll be able to farm for my Ephetus Arga armors. But before we jump into the video, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily. So if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So today's format's going to be a little bit different. We're just simply just going to watch the October updates to introduction video because it pretty much covers all the important stuff in a short and sweet form. So here we go. October update info part two. So at the beginning, you know, we got the high rank sectors in Alio. This is where I'm going to be farming. I don't really want to farm out Magnus. I'm probably just going to go to uh, laboratory runes to Vanford laboratory runes, to be honest. I think this is going to be my go to and maybe Rezzle Forest if, you know, like Chrono wants to farm with me. I know Chrono is a big fan of uh, of Rezzle Forest, but personally, I like Vanford Labs the most. So that's going to be nice. Of course, all the UQs are going to be updated as well. So we're finally going to get updated uh, high rank versions of the Alio UQs. So that's going to be great for a lot of uh, capsules, especially Might 4. And then, of course, we get our triggers. So now you can activate high rank triggers and uh the purple triggers of course i never really liked the alio purple trigger because of the boss at the end we're getting this new scratch as well by the way so this scratch looks pretty good nothing that i want in particular but i know a lot of people want this outfit right here i think spook is definitely going to get it dye it purple and then change the face mask to something uh maybe he can finally cosplay as his actual vtuber we've got some jiangsu stuff over here this looks pretty cute as well I like this little hoodie thingy that's pretty nice. That dress looks pretty good too. Might be useful if uh, as a base wear, I guess. Got some nice hairstyles, got a little bun thing. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I like that little eye thing and these stitches and makeup and stuff. Looks pretty nice. Got the lap pillow. That's pretty cool. This looks nice. Bartending? I might, I might pick that up. I like this witch chair thing as well, but there's a lot of emotes here and I'm going to be waiting for the uh, overlord thing first before I s spend any of my money on these fashion pieces. Then we've got ordinal tower. This doesn't come out this week. This comes out next week, by the way, guys. But you can see here that there's the ordinal tower and then uh, blah, blah, blah. You got to talk to someone. OK, right here. I want you guys to pay attention. All right. I'm actually going to freeze frame as we go through the rewards because this is the first time clear reward. You're going to get 10 arms refiners, 10 hunter EX cube, ranger and force EX cubes, right? And I'm going to pause it when it shows the rewards after that. So right here, this is rank two where all the enemies are level 20. You can see there's Ephetus armor Arga. All right. So I want you to just pay attention that, hey, we will be getting Ephetus armors as a reward. So if you are farming for the Ephetus armor, you probably only need to farm two pieces because I feel like we're going to be getting the Arga, the Belta, and the Sheza one per floor. So rank two gives the Arga, rank three gives the Belta, rank four gives the Sheza. And how do I know that there's so many ranks? It's because if you look over here, we are currently in rank three. All the mobs are level 30. Photon scales 200. Braver EX cubes, Bouncer, as well as Waker. That's pretty nice. So this is how I know that there's high ranks because you can see right here. Clear the Trania Advanced Bunker Type 2 Quest Ordinal Tower, rank 7 or higher, as a ranger with a score of 12,000 or higher. And that is how you get the title as well as your Obsidia weapons. And it's the same for Hunter, Ranger, Force, Fighter, Gunner, all the classes, alright? So every class has the exact same requirement that you will need to go to rank 7 or higher and get 12,000 points. Now, rank 7 would mean that all of the mobs are going to be level 70. However, since our current maximum level is only 65, I feel like rank 7 is probably going to bump it down a little bit to probably level 69 or 65, somewhere between there, because it wouldn't make much sense if it told us to beat rank 7 where all the mobs are level 70 and we're level 65 and we deal 1 damage. It, it just it doesn't make sense to me if they did that. So uh, I'm pretty sure that the mobs are going to be most likely level 69. Now, other than that, premium user PSO2 day is coming right up. 
So it is the 21st of every month, but for me in Asia, it is going to be the 22nd. I will leave this link in the description below so that you can check it in your local time zone. But if you are premium, you can definitely take advantage of this because, you know, the extra rare drop rate as well as the EXP earned is definitely going to be pretty useful, at least for me, because I do want quite a lot of stuff from Alio. And uh, yeah, basically, I'm just going to be farming pretty hardcore for maybe like a couple days just to get it out of my system because I have been itching to do some uh, combat zone grinding. But yeah, that's pretty much everything I'm looking forward towards this week. Now we do have the NGS headline in a week from now. So uh, stay tuned for that because we will be able to see what the Overlord scratch items are going to be in that headline as well as Stia and a lot of new stuff. So I think that is the big headline that a lot of people are excited for. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye. Can I say except you're welcome for the heals, the boosts, so